I'm on the White Arrow Trail going up Mount Monadnock in southwestern New Hampshire. This is the most high, highly traveled mountain trail in the whole world. Mount Fuji is actually number two. It's a trail that uh, when we get to the top, we'll see scores of people up on the top. It's a beautiful weekend day. Monica, maybe you could uh, roll the camera up the hill to show where we're heading. We're about two-thirds of the way up the mountain now. And as you can see, the last part is pretty steep, going up to the top. And we're here to talk about fear of heights. We've uh, talked to you from the uh, Brooklyn Bridge, and now we're here from uh, two-thirds of the way up Mount Monadnock. What happens when you have fear of heights? Again, there's a cognitive component. You have all sorts of fearful thoughts. You worry about falling off. Uh, and you have some physiological effects that we've talked about with anxiety. Uh, you have uh, blood pressure goes up. You feel dizzy and lightheaded start to sweat, you might feel some nausea, as blood is redirected away from where it's needed to, uh, to other muscles to prepare you for fight or flight. But the problem is, is that it's not really dangerous. Kids, four-year-old kids will be up at the top of the mountain today. So what we're going to do is we're going to head up to the top and then we're going to talk to you when we get to the top of the mountain. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is uh, Annika and Sophie living dangerously up there. Say hi to everyone. Hi. What's it like? Mm. <laughs> Is it a big drop off right there. Big drop off. <laughs> Do me a favor. Don't drop off. <laughs> okay, should we head back down? I mean up? <laughs> We're going to go up. As you can see, it's getting steeper as we head up. Okay, girls, keep going. So we've made it to the top, and as you can see, there's a number of people up here. They it's a can't beautiful see. day up at the top, and uh, we've conquered our, uh, our mild fear of fights, and uh, we've allowed all of those feelings of anxiety and tension to rise and then fall, like a wave that crests and then falls. Again, extinction takes place. And I've been up to the top here with people who have had fear of fights, and they have a tremendous feeling of accomplishment when they, may, when they make it to the top. It's so beautiful. Annika, maybe you could just show, pan out, show. It's just beautiful up here. You can see the presidential range. And on a very, very clear day, there's just too much, a little too much cloud cover. You can even see uh, Boston from up here in southwestern New Hampshire. Again, the way to conquer your fear of heights is to get on the mountain. Exposure to your very 